A safe landing thanks to the cushioning provided by the oleotype units built into the landing gear of this aircraft, a common practice now in both large and small aircraft. Peter Thornhill, the founder of Oleo Pneumatics, had hit upon the novel idea of separating the gas and oil in the oleo strut with a floating piston. This enabled the strut to work at any angle, even inverted. The Oleo Industrial Hydraulic Bumper was developed from this early Oleo aircraft strut technology. Oleo Pneumatics has since grown into Oleo International, specialists in the design and manufacture of hydraulic bumpers. They are leaders in the field with over 40 years experience in solving impact problems in all walks of industry. What sets the Oleo hydraulic system above all other mechanical bumpers, such as springs and elastomers, is their ability to absorb and dissipate at least 90% of the impact energy. This is much higher than any non-hydraulic system, resulting in considerable savings on wear and tear costs, as will be demonstrated. The welcome reduction in gearbox repairs on this crane after installing oleo bumpers is a case in point. The secret of a good bumper is to dissipate the energy of impact in a way other than returning that energy as recoil back to the object striking it. This is the major drawback of most mechanical bumpers. It is recoil shock that shakes your bones and does all the damage to moving machinery parts, especially drive chains such as gearboxes. The hydraulic system transfers most of the impact energy into heat in the oil which dissipates through the cylinder casing to the atmosphere. The compressed nitrogen gas provides a low recoil force merely to re-extend the plunger and reverse the oil flow after the impacting load is removed. This demonstration rig illustrates the smooth and recoil-free action of the Oleo Hydraulic Bumper's energy dissipation principle. A 350-pound load free falls three feet, striking at a speed of 850 feet per minute. The impact force is approximately four tons. Not a drop is spilled, thanks to the Oleo Type 21 bumper with a two-inch stroke used here. But how do these oleo bumpers work? The fundamental principle is that the resisting force of the hydraulic bumper is proportional to the velocity of the impacting object and not the stroke, as is the case with spring and rubber bumpers. The resisting force results from forcing a liquid, oil in this case, through a control orifice. The size of the orifice determines the resistance. These cutaway models show the various components of the bumper. The impacting mass strikes the bumper head, which is attached to the plunger. This fits into the cylinder, which in turn is solidly mounted on a support structure suitable to the application. Centrally bolted to the cylinder is the metered pin which controls the size of the orifice in the center of the plunger's piston, and through which oil in the cylinder chamber is forced into the plunger chamber. This is the floating separator piston, which keeps the nitrogen gas on this side separated from the oil on this side. Let's watch the bumper in its step-by-step -step operation. The mass impacts the bumper head. As the plunger is depressed, oil is forced through the piston orifice. At the beginning, the velocity is greatest, so the orifice is at its maximum size is at the thin end of the metering pin. As the velocity diminishes, the orifice size in the piston is decreased as the increasing diameter of the pin moves through the piston, thus maintaining the resisting force in a controlled, pre-designed manner for each application. No periodic adjustments are needed after installation. The metering pin design, in fact, delivers a fixed pattern of resistance. At the same time, the oil entering the plunger chamber compresses the nitrogen gas via the floating separator piston. When the impacting object moves away from the bumper head, the nitrogen gas expands and, using a very low force, 
restores the plunger to its fully extended position, reverses the flow of the oil back to the cylinder, and readies the bumper for the next impact. Therefore, there is virtually no recoil force imparted back to the striking object. This means that there is very little shock to your expensive machinery, putting money in your pocket through reduced repair bills. Let's look at this whole action again in smooth, uninterrupted motion. A unique feature of hydraulic bumpers, not true to mechanical systems, is their soft bumper action at low impact speeds to gently cushion the impacting load. This is because the orifice resistance to oil flow is much lower at slow speed. For example, in the case of this bridge crane trolley travel, the operator can drive down the bumper to maximum compression with minimal force, gaining that much additional operating travel. Let's take a closer look at some typical heavy industrial applications. In the steel mill transfer bay, this crane is loading steel billets, weighing a total of 24 tons into a bed of 10 tons, six type four oleo bumpers with a stroke of four and a half inches can withstand a one foot free drop of the payload taking 20 tons impact force per bumper. In this rolling mill, eight ton red hot billets emerge and strike the stopping plate at an average speed of 1,000 feet per minute. Four Oleo Type 21 bumpers with a six inch stroke gently stop the billets by exerting 20 tons of resistance per bumper. Watch the bumper action again and notice something. They are always fully stroked. This ensures a minimum deceleration force. Mining is another industry where safety is important. In the event of an overwind, this elevator cage, weighing 70 tons and with a total weight of 140 tons, could impact at a speed of 600 feet per minute. Three type 76, 23 and a half inch stroke oleo bumpers provide the necessary protection. Jack catchers literally catch the elevator cage after an overwind as it falls back. Type 4, 4 and a half inch stroke bumpers absorb this shock. This steel mill, 275 ton ladle crane, has a total crane mass of 430 tons, traveling at 250 feet per minute. The Oleo Type 75 bumpers with a 20 inch stroke gently cope with the impact forces at the end of the bridge travel. Oleo Type 9 15 and 3 quarter inch stroke bumpers handle end stop impacts of the 275 ton ladle crane in this furnace bay. The heat and dust conditions here are extreme, but Oleo bumpers perform without a hitch. Here we have another slab lifting crane, and in this case they are using the trolley travel. The operator really puts this Oleo Type 21 8 inch stroke bumper to the test with this 64 ton trolley moving at high speed. Here we see the same crane with a total weight of 205 tons and moving at a bridge speed of 265 feet per minute. In this case it will strike against another crane, both mounted with Oleo Type 9 15 and 3 quarter inch stroke bumpers. This is a typical harbor situation, and here we see a shiploader loading coal. It also makes use of oleo bumpers at its end stops. This car dumper mechanism is used for offloading coal cars at the end of the rail line. It has to perform under the most arduous of conditions, and has eight bumpers fitted to it for protection at both ends of its rotational movement. We trust that this presentation has given you a clear understanding of both the principle of operation and the benefits of installing oleo bumpers. 
In conclusion, let's take another look at those all-important benefits. The Oleo Hydraulic Dynamic Performance means that you get a uniform deceleration. Their rugged construction means reliability and durability in the harshest of environments withstanding high temperatures and dust. The efficiency of their energy absorption at over 95% means maximum structure protection. The recoil is provided by a gas spring which makes for compact, clutter-free installation. Because they are designed for long life, maintenance is reduced to a minimum. The fully damped recoil characteristic means that minimum energy is returned to the system. Because oleo bumpers are velocity sensitive, they always have maximum stroke, thus ensuring a minimum deceleration force. In addition, solid guaranteed backup support is provided by Gantrex.